Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna hop into Windows XP again and test some old school music software from the late 90s and the early 2000s. I just changed my theme into this beautiful wind chime theme. Even the mouse cursor is a little wind chime. So today we're gonna look into three programs. So I have Crystal and then I have a Dream Station 1 and beat 2000. So I'm just going to explore the features of the programs. So let's get started. So first I'm going to try Crystal Audio Engine. Oh wow, what was that? That was <laughs> that was the wind chime theme. <laughs> Waver 1, 2, oh I could put like a sample in here. I'm just going to throw some stuff in. Can I adjust like the BPM. Ooh, I can add some VSTs. Can I add FL stuff here? Okay, we had to look for the BPM settings. Oh, okay. Oh God, this cursor is not as great as I thought it would be. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a little introduction of the software. Give me the translator. See a later translator. Oh go die now. <laughs> so this is an audio engine or an audio workstation that came out in 2004 and it has some built-in components so you can do audio sequencing in it and record and obviously there's the mixer so you can do some mixing and it says that it has built-in effects like an EQ, chorus, delay, reverb and it supports third-party VSTs. So yeah we can try to open up some VSTs that that I have installed in this machine. It can support up to 16 channels of audio. And this, like the Crystal Audio Engine is actually the successor of Studio One, if anybody's heard of Studio One, which is a, a DAW that still exists today. So I guess like these just go by these tracks. So the track one goes into the mixer track one. I'm just gonna try to put some more stuff on there first. Yes, amazing. Let's try to look look into the effects stuff. Can I only put like two per channel? Crystallizer is just, is, is this just like a, a compressor? That's kind of filthy. <laughs> I'm just gonna try one more time to get my, my plugins in here. Oh yes, yes, yes. Paradigm Shifter. Whoa. This is the pack that I'm using, like the VSTs, and this is the Psychic Modulation Legacy Plugin Archive. So this has a Creative Commons license, and it's an archive of discontinued VST plugins from Psychic Modulation dating back to 2002. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm just gonna get back in here. I have no idea what it does, but let's, let's, test it out. Oh my god, what? Oh, we have an LFO tool. There's like a multiple different versions of it as well. I'm just gonna try version three. Oh, this doesn't, this doesn't look as cool as the old version. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> I want this to be louder. Yes. This feature that I've been waiting in FL for <laughs> 10 years <laughs> was in this program in 2004. <laughs> well, I'll be getting it in the next version. Like, I'm always scared of crashing. I can't help it. I have some bad experiences. <laughs> Yes, I didn't notice the play option there. <laughs> Very convenient. Mustang, must get dandruff, bitch. On the fuck up, buckle. Shave me quacko with me pink. So many good options. <laughs> Shoot the farmer. I can't wait to hear what the sounds like with the effect. <laughs> 
Maybe turn it down a little. <laughs> Okay, I think my song is done. Are you ready to listen to it? <laughs> Let's zoom out a little bit to see the entire thing in its glory. So that was Crystal Audio Engine. I I kind of liked this one. It was not too bad to use. Obviously, the features are a little limited, which is to be expected from stuff from this era. So let's move on to the next program. So next up is Dream Station 1. Here we go. Ooh, what? So this is like a tracker. I'm just gonna try to find some information on it. This is like from the manufacturers of Cakewalk. The Dream Station, a simple soft synth that was bundled with the original version of Sonar and keeps blah, 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 blah. So it's, it's just like a synthesizer, but I wanna know like what, what is the company that manufactured it? Okay, so this was bundled in with Sonar and Sonar is a DAW by Cakewalk. So I think Sonar was renamed to Cakewalk, so it is like kind of the same software. <laughs> well, anyways, let's get into exploring this Dream Station synth thing. Do we have any kind of kind of template things? Space debris. <laughs> Okay, let's look at some of the other template or demo songs. Uh, I don't know what to select. Mm -mm. Okay, one more. One more before I make my own thing. Okay, I'm gonna open up a new project. Okay, so how do I use this thing? I don't have like any experience whatsoever using trackers. So I'm like completely a noob and I have no idea what to do, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to figure it out. So, okay, we're gonna read the manual. Getting started. Thank you for choosing Dream Station. Dream Station has simply everything needed for most modern computer music. Okay, so now I think I, kind of know what I'm supposed to do so I need to change the sound number when I move into another track so I'll just I'll just make some kind of a pattern with this one I don't know how I can make another pattern like how the fuck do I add a pattern shut the fuck up shift insert thanks okay so insert Okay, now we're getting somewhere. This is some time consuming shit. I want this to be two as well. Okay, how do I play the entire thing? Go to the start. Oh no, I always press enter. Why do I do that? 
Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try to add some effects just to see what's in here. Delay. And here I can adjust the percentage of the effect. Automation. What is automation? Ooh, okay. Uh, do I need to go to like the place where I wanna start the automation? Okay, set. I don't know how this works. <laughs> Oh, it did work. I don't know what it was supposed to be doing. <laughs> Is there a section for the automation? Apparently not. <laughs> if I used 10 hours, I could probably make like a full track in this, but this is a very slow process of making music, apparently. I mean, I'm sure somebody who's familiar with trackers and has used them a lot could make a song in like five minutes or some shit like that. I got some sounds out of it, which was my goal. <laughs> so yeah, that was Stream Station 1. Oh, I just realized I haven't been in the full screen mode. So you've seen this annoying white border here, but I'm just gonna switch back. Okay, that's better. <laughs> so our next program is gonna be Beat 2000. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, can I full screen? No, I can't. Load song. Do we have demo songs? Ooh, jazz. Okay. Hello, how do I play the song? Uh, we have some tracks here, but how do I get the song to play? It changes the instruments, but it doesn't load the entire song. What if I just draw it in then? <laughs> So this thing is from a company called Aludra Software and it came out in 1997 and this is what it says about itself. <laughs> Beat 2000 is the latest advancement in musical software. Beat 2000 will help you create and mix your favorite music right on your PC. No musical experience necessary. The full program supports all different music styles including rock, jazz, classical, techno, world beat and more. Are these like some kind of patterns? Oh, I can like program my song. Oh, I can record it. Wow. Did the recording save anywhere? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I just recorded a whole last thing and now I don't even know if it exists anywhere. <laughs> if I do a new song. Okay, so these are empty, so. Okay, we can load tracks. Let's add another track, maybe like a ride pattern. I'm ready, I'm ready to play our track. Okay, this, this one is my favorite. <laughs> this is my favorite of the three <laughs> that we tested. Oh, what is this? This is some kind of a drum sequencer. Oh man. <laughs> this just keeps on giving. <laughs> Can we get a snare? I don't know why it skips beats sometimes. Okay, can I? move this into wait what is this i don't know i'm just gonna save it as some random thing but can i like import low track can i load the thing that i just saved i don't know 
I wonder where I even saved it. I don't remember. Ah, <laughs> uh, where did I save it? My documents. Okay, okay. I can't open it into here, so I don't really know what that's about. Okay, what's Audiomatic? We have some fancy notes and audio waveforms. <laughs> Is this like a like a sampler? I guess. Can I load up a sample in here? Ah, uh, so this is just... Can I chop it up in this? Or what is the purpose of this? I don't know. I guess it's just like a basic audio editor or something like that. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. <laughs> if you have any suggestions on software to try, you can leave it in the comments. I like to try you know, the stuff from the 90s, but it can be modern software too. It could be, like, it can be a DAW, it could be a VST. Like, if you find something that's kind of unheard of or a little bit weird or anything like that, I can try it. So, see you in the next video.